150 miles. That's the approximate distance of Concord, New Hampshire to the Canadian border. It is also the distance of Los Angeles and San Antonio from the Mexican border. 150 miles is how far the Russian troops were to Kiev when they started their latest invasion of Ukraine. Here in Bucha, the war became defiant. The horror of the atrocities, of the coward invaders, and the bravery of the Ukrainian soldiers were on full display. So as the war began, we understood immediately that there was going to be an enormous humanitarian crisis. And so we pooled the resources we had through family, friends, work colleagues, anyone who would listen. And we used that to launch the Help Ukraine Operation Polonitsa project. As they say, literally building the airplane at 30,000 feet uh, because we did it from scratch. During that time, we evacuated more than 4,200 Ukrainians from the conflict areas provided more than $2.5 million in humanitarian supplies and grants directly to local communities and organizations in need, directly impacted the help and assistance of more than 425,000 Ukrainian citizens, built a network of over 300 doctors to provide telemedical advice to displaced persons. All this happened because of you. You cared. You gave. You made an impact. Because of our efforts, the Association of Charities of Ukraine recently awarded Help Ukraine 22, the Angel of Kindness Award, as the best charity and awarded our director, Brian Mefford, the Philanthropist of the Year Award for his leadership during this time of crisis. Your willingness to help Ukraine was well placed, and without our supporters, none of this would be possible. In 2023, Help Ukraine 22 has become a separate organization and formed a new board of directors, led by Chairman Terry Bannum. You know, my friendship with Brian goes all the way back to college, and, uh, you know, we've known each other a long time, and, you know, he's uh, lived here in Ukraine for 20 years, 20 plus years, and has a business here, and has got family here, and so this tragedy for him is very real, just like it is for the, for the rest of the staff, and, um, you know, when someone reaches out to you and says, I need your help, uh, when you're talking to friends, uh, there's only one answer, and that answer is yes. Well, most of the team of Help Ukraine uh, are Ukrainians in Ukraine. Uh, as a result, they're highly motivated. That's because they live daily with the air raids. They have seen the explosions. They have lost loved ones. And so the war for them is not something they watch on TV. It's something they experience on a daily basis. So. When we were building a team, uh, ironically, that was helpful because the Ukrainians were highly motivated and also very reliable because their lives literally depended on it. Well, like I said before, Ukrainians are highly motivated and they're highly skilled. They are grateful for the support that we give them. Uh, they simply need our help to be self-sustainable. And that's where we've been most effective. So our solutions varied, um, you know, a lot of it was supply chain and then some of it um, uh, we worked with local NGOs who had supplies, but they would need help uh, with fuel costs. And so we provide small grants to help them do that. But one of our most successful programs was uh, helping uh, initiate a women's shelter for migrating uh, IDP women and their children. Uh, that particular project helped over 700 women uh, that needed help and uh, is now self-sustaining and even has the capacity now to expand the different services that they provide to women. And so we're real proud of that. As we look to the future, Help Ukraine 22 will focus on providing immediate aid to those we have been working with 
and will invest time and resources into projects that have the potential to be sustainable to meet local needs. We are currently working on programs like working with local hospitals and medical clinics to provide needed equipment to meet the need of wounded soldiers coming back to local communities. Expanding our reach and forming partnerships with local NGOs, focusing on addressing the need of ethnic minorities. Thank you. See you next time. So good to see you. I believe, I believe that we will. 150 miles. At that distance, life can change in an instant. And for the people of Ukraine, it did change. Our volunteers work every day meeting the needs of local Ukrainians. And sometimes they put themselves in harm's way. This is, uh, our Ukrainians are no different than we are. They want the same things that we do. They want normalcy, they want prosperity, and most importantly, they want peace. The only path for peace is victory.